I don't remember that much of the story to to do it to t to tell you that. I think that might actually be all I did with this time into the world. That might that may be everything that I did. Everything that I had to do was just register. I I think that might I think that might have just been. <laughs> yeah, I have an important email. Yeah. Um, hey, it's ASAP. After I read this. Hmm. Hmm. Shall we be honest? I think we shall be honest. Now let's read this ASAP. Guess I'll go check on Canard's guild shop. Alrighty. Yay, storyline. Things that aren't the arena. Yes. I hear the sighs of relief through time in the internet. But yes. We're doing things that, that do not involve the arena. All of you are happy about that. Haseo's been really good this week without with, with the whole reminding me of things I already know thing. He's been pretty good with that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't tell me you're still bitter about what happened the other day. Probably. If you can't summon an avatar then we don't need you to help us now. No, I'm not. My bad, then. So, how's the old hag doing? Old. If you mean pie, she's busy running around as usual. Haggish? Hmm. Haggis? Wait. Hey. I might be vehemently against the idea of you joining GU. It's a big word. But I don't necessarily agree with her. I thought you guys didn't need someone who couldn't be used as an epitaph user. And just learn how to summon your avatar and the problem's solved. I have always believed that if you join us as a member of GU, you will eventually awaken to your full potential as you continue coming in contact with Ida. Hmm. Aren't you an optimist? Please, call it positive thinking. No. By the way, I wanted to ask, how have Syllabus and Gaspard been lately? They're fine. Look. Same as always. We're gonna talk to them. I see. I was a little worried, since they haven't been responding to my emails. Hmm. They're not babies. They'll be fine. Hmm. Are we sure they're no, not babies? I'm still concerned. I think I'll swing by and check on them. Alrighty then. Well, see you later, Haseo. Uh, hey, Coon! Bye. Hey, I said wait. I don't ignore me, Coon. <sighs> huh? <coughs> hmm. <sighs> now, what's going on? I'm confused. What's wrong, Gaspar? Coon, I. Okay. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you crying? What happened, Gaspar? They're scared. Nobody will buy anything. If they did, they're afraid they'll be PK'd. Why? PK'd? What are you talking about? What's going on? <sighs> Gaspar, that's why I told you to give up on the shop. No. Give up on the shop? What do you mean, Syllabus? I make money from the shop. Well... In principle, uh, it's matter. Ever since you started participating in the arena battles, we've been getting bullied a lot. Huh? By who? Those Kestrel PKers. The ones who were always going after you before. Uh... At first, they just made fun of us for running a shop. Nothing physical, but things kept getting worse. And now, 
They even attack other players who do business with us. Oh, good. Oh, man. That's terrible. No wonder there's no one doing business here. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Well, you've been working so hard at the arena, and... <laughs> and, and we, we didn't want to worry you. <laughs> you're always so busy. See what your angels did. Stop so many times, again and again. But they just kept laughing and saying it's our own fault for helping Haseo. Asses. Hmm. Since Sakaki prevented them from going after me, they go after everyone around me instead. It's awful. And now we just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Kill them. Stop that. Why don't you just beat them up if they try to interfere? <laughs> you keep crying and backing down, so they keep coming back for more. Well, that's true. But you understand, right? So then... Yeah, I understand. I'll go meet with Kestrel's Guildmaster and talk to him about this. What? Are you serious? You're going to meet with Gobby? Yes, I am. So listen, Gaspard. Don't make such a sad face anymore, okay? I'll go with you. Haseo! Honor! I'm going. I am the Guildmaster of Canard, after all. Ah. <laughs> Haseo! I, I don't know! <sighs> I won't be satisfied until Gabi gets a piece of my mind for not controlling his members. Easy. We're not going there to pick a fight, Haseo. <laughs> Just to talk. Got it? Yeah, I know. Uh, do you really Keep know? Keep this in mind. The Guildmaster's words represents his members' words. The Guildmaster's actions represents his members' actions. A Guildmaster is more than just a title, Haseo. It's the name for the one who takes responsibility for all his members. Hmm. With great power. Let's go, Haseo. Comes great responsibility. We'll be heading to Delta Sneering Failing Empire. That's where Kestrel's guild headquarters are located. An area ward? When a guild gets as big as Kestrel, they are granted their own exclusive area from CC Corp. I see. I'll be waiting for you at Makanu's Chaos Gate. When you're ready, come and invite me. Yep, we get to go to a big guild's area. And when we're and later on in the game, we get to go to I think it's later on in this game maybe. I don't know. It might be this game, might be the next one. We we get to go to Moon Tree's Guild, so they have a they have an area too. We're gonna handle the talk with Gabi, and then probably end the session. That'll probably, probably be all the action we need for one week. There's was Arena. There was Arena. <laughs> Arena! <laughs> Got to invite Kuhn and put a Delta sneering failing empire. I know. We were doing so well this week, Haseo. And then you just had to mess it up. Key. Let's go to Kestrel. Which looks like a arena. Like a, a, like a gladiatorial arena. Kind of. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. This is their headquarters? Yeah. Very impressive. An original design from CC Corp, huh? Well, aren't they treated like kings? It's not just for show. It's possible to use this area as a simple meeting place. But the Guildmaster can also place monsters within the area and use it as a training ground for members. Oh. You know a lot. To Kestrel! Away! That was very off-key, I apologize for that.